we have received quite a legacy here at Suncrest. If you go over to Drummond Chapel, which by the way, folks online, is a little white chapel that goes back into the 1840s, 50s in the corner of our parking lot. If you go over there, you're going to notice a series of pictures on the walls. And one of the pictures is going to have little blurbs, bullet points that describe a story about the history of Drummond Chapel that we've received here. And one of the little bullet points is going to say, Barefoot Students. I'm going to read it for you, okay? Barefoot Students. Sunday School Superintendent and Mrs. Evans, upon learning other families' children were staying away from Sunday School because they had no shoes, decreed their own children would would go to Sunday school barefoot, thus soon solving the shoe problem and Sunday school attendance. Isn't that a, an amazing legacy to receive? James Campbell has said, while it's well enough to leave footprints in the sand of time, it's even more important to make sure they point in a commendable direction. We are the salt of the earth. We are the light of the world. We are the river of God. Would there be anything that would prevent us from living in that truth and together leaving a legacy for others? A number of years from now, there may, there may be a picture of you found on some iPad or tablet or other ancient device. Maybe it'll be up on a wall somewhere here flashing pictures. And someone will see your face and our faces together and they will say, this is the legacy I have received. What's the legacy I'm making? What is the chapter that I'm writing? I too have impact. I am a drop, but we are a river. I, with you, am the salt of the earth and the light of the world. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.